Hello and welcome to episode 107 of my Working With Todoist series. Hello and welcome to this episode of Working With Todoist and in this week's episode it's not going to be about existing Todoist users. This week's show is all about all you guys out there who are using Wonderlist and have become a little bit concerned about what Microsoft has in store for a replacement for Wonderlist. Now, Microsoft's replacement called To Do looks fantastic. I've had a play with it this week. Admittedly, I've only had a play with it on my iPhone, but it does look very good. The problem I can see with To Do by Microsoft is that it's not very feature rich. Now, of course, that could change with future updates. But for now, it does appear to be quite a significant difference from Wonderlist. So for those of you guys out there who currently do use Wonderlist and need a fully featured to-do list manager, then Todoist is the application for you. And Todoist has made it very, very easy for you to export all your tasks and projects directly into Todoist. And in this week's episode, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, so let's get straight into this. Okay, so what we have to do is you have to go to the Todoist website. So the Todoist website, I'm going to put a link to this in the notes because it's obviously quite a long uh, uh, website uh, address here. But you go to the support website of Todoist and you come to this page. So how to import tasks from Wonderlist. So, to import your tasks from Wonderlist to Todoist, open Wonderlist Importer and we'll click on that in a moment and click the Start Import button. You'll be asked to sign into your Wonderlist account. So, make sure that you have your account details ready to do this. So, what we're going to do is this application, which Todoist has done, it will retrieve your account details, retrieve your list and to do's, and retrieve your reminders. Um, the application will not be able to delete your account or change your password, so don't panic, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Wonderlist importer. And by the way, you've got a little bit. So once you authorize the data transfer, Todoist is going to co create a new project called Wonderlist import. So we'll see what this looks like once we go into Todoist. So I'm going to actually prepare for this because I'm going to open up my Todoist which I haven't done yet. So um, I've got my usual, my full Todoist here. Look at this, it's so busy today, I have not had time to do all my tasks. Oh, and once again, notice up here, this is my laptop, I don't use this every day. There's a new version available. Actually, this one I know has not got too many versions, but anyway, so there we go. Let's go back to the, the page. So let's gonna go into the Wonderlist importer, and we're gonna start the import. So this is going to go to wonderlist.com and it's going to ask me to do the blah, blah, blah. I've got my details there. I'm going to sign in and authorize the importer. So we click on the authorize and now it's importing my task. Now, the good news is I don't have too many tasks in Wonderlist, so this shouldn't take too long. And look what's happened down here. My wonder list over here has actually come in. So as you can see from here. Now, let me just explain what's gone on here. You'll notice that suddenly all my, all my um, things here have changed. This is because on this computer, I am logged into my demo account. I'm not logged into my main account. So that's why it hasn't come into here. So I'm going to close this one. That was my main account that I opened from the um, Todoist down here. I'd forgotten that on the web, I actually have myself logged in 
to my demo account. So please do not worry about what happened there. But what you'll see down here, the most important thing, my Wonderlist import has come in. So let's just go to my Wonderlist. And over here in my home, I've got, this is a demo account because I've never really used Wonderlist. But you see, buy my wife new lens solution, which I have done. So I could have actually ticked that off. Uh, there we go, that's done. Teaching, this is something that I'm gonna to have to do. I have to prepare a lecture that I'm doing on Tuesday. So I'm gonna do the prep. Uh, the lecture is here. Um, mother's visit. My mother arrives here in Korea tomorrow morning. So I've got uh, clean up the house, of course. And my mother likes a lot of pillows. So I put the pillows in there and take out the garbage. And I've got nothing in writing. And there's nothing in my inbox. So let's now go over to my what we have here. The Wonderlist import. Import, buy new lens solution for my wife. Um, and teaching. Notice that the date that was in the Wonderlist for teaching here has transferred no problem and it's actually set an alarm which I would turn off. Do prep for class on Sunday. Mother's visit, it's all come in just nicely. Writing, done there. And inbox, as there was nothing in my inbox, so I can actually now move in there and I can delete that project, that's okay. And what I could do now is I can actually just move these into my own projects if I wish and label them how I want. So you may have a little bit of reorganizing to do once you've actually moved everything into Wonderlist, but that's it. That's all you have to do. Really quite simple. Okay, I hope you found this episode useful. Uh, for those of you guys who already used to do it, I'm sorry I have nothing for you this week, but don't forget to join me again next week because we'll have more on Todoist next week. And for all you former Wonderlist users, go back to all the series. Uh, there's over 100, obviously, episodes here. This is 107, and you can go through and learn how to use Todoist and get the most out of Todoist for your daily productive life. Okay, I hope you found this episode useful. Don't forget to join me again in next week's episode. And until then, I wish you all a very, very productive week. Music